Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological overview for the whole of October. Now, this is a month of great intensity. There's a lot of Scorpio activity going on, which is reaching into the depth of humanity to bring up kind of fears, to bring up transformation, to bring up rebirth. So you might find a lot of your emotions are very raw, or you can't ignore some deep shadowy side to yourself that you've tried to push into some corner of your being. The universe is shining a light on all our primal desires. On the 12th, there's also a full moon in Aries, which is bringing things up and making us want to be impetuous and spontaneous and very emotional on the surface. So look out on the 12th for what you're feeling. What's coming up for you? What do you want to talk about? You might want to be a little bit stampy footy annoyed on the 12th. If that's the case, maybe you're not balancing enough spontaneity in your life. Maybe the full moon is saying to you, you need a little bit more fun. You need to be a bit childlike and feast on the pleasures of life. Run on the beach, go for a walk, do something that really makes your soul sing. There's also at the end of the month, a new moon in Scorpio. And that new moon is all about rebirth for us all. We might feel that something happens politically or in the news, which shakes us a little bit, which makes us think about fear and hope and all of our kind of faith in humanity is brought to the surface. Perhaps there's some kind of crises in one of these countries that's revolting at the moment, but whatever it is, we're being urged to pull together and have faith and have faith actually in our rebirth. Well, I don't believe we're at the end of a cycle. I don't believe that when we head to 2012, there's going to be some big negative doom and gloom. Well, I'm crossing my fingers anyway, because I believe we're one humanity. And when we change and when we believe in each other and when we join hands together, then we can change what's going to happen. And in a way, we're all waking up. We're waking up to the fact that we are eternal beings. We're waking up to the fact that we are in a cycle of life, death and rebirth. And actually that's the message of all this Scorpio energy this month, not to be afraid of going within or seeing the truth in situations. A lot of time we bury our heads in the sand and then as humanity awakens, we see things as they really are. For instance, many of us used to eat an egg in the morning and not think about where that egg came from. And it turned out that it was battery farmed. And once that was drawn to our awareness, many of us chose healthier choices and decided not to be blind to where our food comes from. I feel that this month is going to be very revealing. It's asking us to look at the truth about our reality and the truth about the way that we're living. And we have the opportunity to transform and change. And that's a wonderful process. There are a few things that bring lightness to our month. Up until the 9th, for instance, we have a lovely aspect between Venus and Libra and Neptune, and it's making us all gooey eyed and optimistic and able to really link to people and see the best in people and see everything through rose tinted glasses. It might stir up our deeper passions and make us question who am I in love? Who am I in relationships? And what do I feel for my partner? You might find yourself feeling jealous or some kind of primal lust or desire for someone. But really, it's just the planet shining a light into you and saying, how well do you know yourself? How honest are you being? And it gives us an opportunity to step into our integrity and be true to ourselves. This month with all that Scorpio energy is intense, but I love intensity and I actually am very fond of Scorpio. So there is a sense that we have to make ourselves familiar with this energy. A lot of people get uncomfortable when things are primal, but actually if we can't do primal, we can't do life. And this month, the planets are saying live intensely, live with passion, live truthfully, live honesty, live within your integrity and also enjoy the mystery history, passion, and losing yourself sometimes in the primal. You can do it. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.